channel. So today for you guys, I have a Dollar Tree DIY that I'm so freaking happy with. I have it laying out right there. It's so cute. I'm going to be showing you how I made a coffee table using Dollar Tree products. This is a sturdy coffee table. You can make it even sturdier. That is for sure. There are so many different things you can make this more sturdier ways. So many different more ways, not things. The table cost me $16 to make. I'm so happy with how it turned out. I tried to match it as best as I could to my TV stand and it matches it pretty much perfectly. Also in this video, I kind of show you how to create a faux wood grain looking appearance using paint brushes. It's really easy to do. You're dry brushing. So even if you don't make the table, maybe you can learn a new technique when it comes to painting. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Now I'm going to aim for something and for something crazy and I'm gonna try something crazy if we could get this video to 8,000 thumbs up by Wednesday Thursday I will upload a video pretty similar to this but try to make a TV stand and hopefully kind of try to show you guys a substitute to the product that I use in this Dollar Tree video just because these products that I use in this Dollar Tree video it's a hit and miss whether you're able to find it at Dollar Tree so I'm thinking maybe I'll try to make a TV stand one that could hold a lighter TV because I know for sure like I won't be able to hold a heavy TV but try to make a TV stand and show you guys kind of a substitute you can use so if you're interested in that if we can get this video to 8,000 thumbs up by Wednesday I will have the video out for you guys on Thursday another thing I kept telling you guys about my Instagram last week because I'm featuring some of you guys on my Instagram I featured two people already please continue to tag me at me I'll have a link down below for you guys before we begin make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel if you're not and click the bell button so you're notified every single time that I upload with that being said let's begin so from Dollar Tree I'm gonna be using these long tabletop word decor pieces and I'm going to be using 12 of them total. I was able to find them at my local Dollar Tree but if you're not able to find these you can honestly get an inexpensive wood from a hardware store like Home Depot and Lowe's and they cut it for you there to the dimension that you want it to be. Lots of times hardware stores also carry pieces that are about the size of what I'm making for the top of my table already cut down for you and it's like pine wood. It costs a little bit more because it's a nicer type of pine wood and it's already sanded down. I'm just saying if you cannot find these particular pieces at your local Dollar Tree, you can do this with regular wood and it wouldn't cost you a lot of money. You just gotta make sure so you don't have to go buying a saw and all that, um, that you ask the people at the hardware store to cut it down for you and they do. What I did is I laid out 12 pieces, six pieces on each side, so I made one big rectangle. And then I started to staple them together. Originally, I was stapling on a carpet. The staples didn't go through the carpet, but because the surface wasn't nice and flat, the pieces I was stapling originally were kind of like, I don't know, it's weird. They were just kind of curving a little. So I went ahead and took a leftover piece of wood and then I started to staple on there. So I made sure I had a flat surface. Make sure you do have one as well if you're using a staple gun, which I highly recommend. I got this at Walmart. You can use it for so many crafts. It makes crafting so much easier. You can also use wood glue, but this is just so much sturdier than using wood glue. When I had laid out my pieces, I laid them out so the parts that had the wording was facing me, and that's where I put most of my staples. I put most of the staples where the wording is and not on the other side, so I can make sure that it was secure on one side and that being the side that you're not really gonna see. If you're using a staple gun, don't be stingy with the staples. Use a lot, take advantage of it. You can really make a very sturdy table out of this using a staple gun, but you just wanna make sure that you're using enough staples. Don't be stingy with the staples. Once I got the back all stapled up, I flip my piece of wood over. So now I just got like one solid piece of wood and I added wood glue where the two pieces meet so I have like two six piece sections I don't know what I would really want to call them but I put wood glue there to kind of just help secure it a little more and then I went ahead and I added staples down the center and a few on the ends of each side now you are able to see the staples but honestly it's not that big of a deal it's not like it looks bad or anything I went ahead and did this because I wanted to make sure that I could actually use this table without it falling apart on me so I went ahead and I did that 
Now I go ahead and I remove the UPC stickers. You could do this ahead of time. I used Goo Gone. I've gotten so many tips and tricks from people saying that you could use a hair dryer. I don't own one. And then um, soap and water. But soap and water never really works for me. I just use the Goo Gone and it does a trick. And Dollar Tree also carries Goo Gone if you're interested. Now it's time to paint this thing. I'm going to start off painting a base layer of white chalk paint it's from waverly i got it at walmart and i'm using a sponge brush to do this i make sure that i am going in the same direction because as you paint you're going to notice that you're kind of getting lines um within the wood and this is kind of looking like the grain of wood so you want to make sure you're doing it in the same direction with the paintbrush so it looks cohesive I did at least two layers of the white paint before I did anything else because you could kind of see the black showing through. Dollar Tree does carry these tabletop wood decor pieces in white. It's just that all I could find were the black ones. So that's what I'm using. Another tip I have to really get the look of wood grain is to use one of the Dollar Tree paint brushes that has like these bristles that are kind of tough and you want to dry brush the paint on. So that means you do not dip the brush inside of water and you kind Kind of remove the paint a lot of the paint off of the brush before you actually place it on whatever surface you're applying it to so you're dry brushing the paint and you go in that same type of motion um, to mimic wood grain and this really creates like the lines that you want to truly make it look like wood these table top decor pieces are real wood but you don't really see the grain to them because of the coating of black paint that's on top of it so to really mimic that grain of wood you can use a paintbrush like this and do the trick so then i went ahead and i flipped this thing over to add legs and the legs i'm using are rolling pins from dollar tree i used wood glue to attach them but to truly secure them in you can get little l brackets and nail them into the tabletop and also the pins so those pins really don't go anywhere if you're using wood glue like me remember you don't want to put a lot of weight on this thing and you don't really want to be kicking the table around because it's being attached by wood glue. After I had gotten my legs on, I went ahead and let that dry overnight and then I woke up the next day and I started to paint the bottom. Now this is where I'm going to truly show you how I kind of matched this. I had matched it to where my TV stand is lying on top of. I wanted the table to match that. So what I did is I put my base layer of white at the bottom. I didn't worry about getting it perfect around the rolling pins because you're not going to be able to see the bottom of this anyway. If you want it to be perfect around the rolling pin, you're going to want to get like a smaller brush to do this. But I went ahead and I just painted my base layer of white till I was fine with how it looked. I then took brown paint and I mixed it into that white chalk paint. The brown paint was called Coffee Bean and it was from Acrylic Folk which I think is from Hobby Lobby. You just need a brown paint but what you do is you mix it to create a very light brown color and then you take another one of those Dollar Tree brushes, make sure you remove most of the paint off of the brush and then you do the same thing. Take your brush and go back and forth so that you're getting these small fine little lines that make it look like actual wood grain. Now you can go ahead and make an even darker brown color with your white and brown paint and do different layers of brown. It just depends what you want to do. Obviously you don't even have to use brown paint. You can do like a gray wash if you wanted to. I did brown again to match what my TV stand looks like. It's truly all about the dry brushing. Don't dip your paintbrush in water at all. When you dip it inside of your paint, kind of remove most of the paint from the paintbrush so that you can dry brush on top of whatever it is you're brushing on to get it to look like wood. If there is a spot that got a little too dark for you, you can go back with your white paint and do the dry brushing over that spot that got a little too dark. Next up, I decided to stain the wood pins. They are real wood, so they take stain nicely. You can sand them down beforehand if you like. I'm using a mini wax wood finish in dark walnut. I go ahead and just dip my, I tend to use washcloths from Dollar Tree. I dip the washcloth in there and then I go ahead and I just stain the legs. And I only put one layer of stain on each one because I like the color right off the back. I was kind of like trying to rub some of the color off of my washcloth a bit so that the stain wasn't too intense but I don't really know if it worked at all. Once the legs were stained and dried my table was good to go and it's a pretty sturdy table. Like I said 
the legs are being held there by wood glue so you just want to be gentle if you attach the legs with just wood glue don't obviously put like a 50 pound tv on top of this thing and expect it just to hold it i mean it might i don't know but i mean if your tv breaks on you that ain't my fault it'll be able to hold your food that's for sure or like little trinkets you want to place on top of it and you can see the little cabinet that's in the back that is what i tried to match the top of this to and it matched so perfectly so i hope you guys enjoyed this coffee table diy using dollar tree products dollar tree if you are out there please get more pieces in like this wood decor tabletop that you previously had in so we can make some awesome diys and it's not just me being able to find them at my dollar tree anyways thank you so much for watching i will see you guys next time take care bye